It's time for Studio 7, sponsored by your Permian Basin Chevy dealers. Welcome back. We're joined now with our favorite Drive to Fab contributor, Brandy Bell. Brandy, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Okay, so how many of us have just random picture frames around mm -hmm. our house? All Abs of us, right? Yep, <laughs> yep. So um, one of the issues with changing your design theme or, you know, we put pictures out when our kids are three and four years old and then they stay there till they're 15 or 16. <laughs> so every client I have is guilty of mismatched picture frames. frames yeah and so um, but you've already taken the time to find the perfect picture to fit it you don't mm -hmm. want to swap out all your pictures they're expensive some of the ones you have cost a lot of money um, but there are ways to tie that mismatched uh, feel together okay and that's what we're gonna talk about today easy and affordable which is the absolutely best part. very very inexpensive let me move those out of the way um, okay, so it goes without saying that I like spray paint. <laughs> and um, one of the simplest ways to update all your frames is to pick two to three paint colors that all coordinate. And they complement each other. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so I went for this, actually this is an actual client's frames. I called her and said, I need some of your picture frames. <laughs> I know she was looking to update. So I picked three colors that tie in with their home. It's the easiest way to do it. Mm -hmm. I picked an ivory. I picked a pale gray and kind of a French blue. Now you could do all black, you could mm -hmm. do all black and white, you could do all gold, you could do whatever you wanted. Mm -hmm. Spray paint comes in a million colors. So once I had all of them kind of evenly divided, I sprayed two ivory, three blue, and mm -hmm. two gray. And then to tie those together one step forward, or one step further after we've, you know, spray, spray painted. painted them all, we're going to dry brush, which is one of my other favorite techniques because that's how you can tie so them all do together. So you normally use a matte spray paint or does it matter? Doesn't matter. Okay. You can use... Um, Mix and match them? Abs absolutely. And if you're trying to go a little bit more modern, you could paint them all one color in a high gloss. So okay. like high gloss white, mm -hmm. high gloss black, high gloss gold. If you want them to be a little more shabby chic, you could do a chalk paint and then dry brush over that. If your style is a little more rustic, you could do them all in a dark brown and then dry brush a little gold over it and that makes them a little more rustic. And okay. so, and, and dry brushing, if you haven't heard me talk about it the other million times. <laughs> By the way, if you're not a spray paint fan, which I like spray paint because it's fast and I can get a bunch done really quickly, you can use these bottles of acrylic paint and again, these also come in like two million colors and you can shoop, 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 paint it, let it dry, paint it. You need more than one coat though if you're right. doing this craft and, and this will take a little longer than a spray paint. Takes a little longer. However, it's probably not quite as toxic. Um, <laughs> I do wear a mask, by the way, when I'm spray painting. I have the little painter's masks. Um, I'll cover but, this part. Mm -hmm. So I actually just popped them all. I popped the glass out of them and then you just lay the frame down. Okay. There, there's no taping, there's no prep work at all. Just take the glass out. Just take the glass out and then dry brushing again as you put a little paint on a bowl or a plate. You wipe part of it off and then you lightly dry brush it. So now you finish it. Okay. That's it. That's dry brushing. So easy. So easy. And then you can actually dry brush all of them in the same color. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of a warm beige. So you could go over the blue in the same warm beige, the ivory in the same warm beige, you know, all of them. But you could do different colors if you wanted to, mm -hmm. just yep. as long as they complement each other. Mm -hmm. So I would not do more than three because then you get back to the whole mismatch feeling. Uh -huh. um, I'd probably stick with two or three. So this, this is a warm beige that kind of already ties them in, but then when they're all together, it's like, whoa. Okay, and is this something new. you would put maybe on a blank wall or just different areas in your house? If you're doing a gallery wall, which we need to do a DIY on that, by the way, if you're doing a gallery wall, I would definitely stick with two colors. Three may be a little bit much for okay. a gallery wall if you're doing colorful pictures because that's a lot going mm -hmm. on. But if you're doing black and white photos or sepia toned photo, uh, sepia toned photos, you could for sure do two or three colors. And um, it would be okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then you can also just put them all around your house. Okay, but a bunch of, yeah, different colors, you put them all around your house and they'll all just kind of feel cohesive. Yes. 
right. stick in a color family and, and you really can't go wrong. Perfect. Well, this so. is quick, easy, and fun. Something you can even do with your kids, right? Um, <laughs> no, well, not the spray paint. <laughs> Depends on how old your kids yeah. are. <laughs> Some parents don't want their kids to have spray paint, but my kids <laughs> use it. So if not really craft paint. Supervised. <laughs> supervised. They actually sell uh, at the big box stores the packages of like 10 or 12 blank wood frames. Okay. And they're like a buck a piece. And so that is really, truly a great summer craft. You lay the frames out, give the kids a bunch of craft paint. This is non-toxic. You can let them have at it. You can even, one more little, if it's a family event, <laughs> you could put some of this paint with water in a spray bottle and the kids can actually spray the, the frames in a little spray bottle. And love they that. love it and it's so much fun. I so, love that. Well, Brittany, thanks so much for being with us today. Thanks for having me.